In today's vlog, I'm gonna show you how to make nail guy jerky. You're probably wondering what the heck a nail guy is. It's an exotic species that came from India that happened to be on our family ranch in South Texas back in the 1800s. Um, we went down there a couple of weeks ago to go hunting. If you've been following our YouTube channel, you've noticed that we did go hunting. We visited our parents. Uh, we brought meat back up. And I just wanted to show you different ways that we cook with it. So today I'm gonna show you how to make nail guy jerky. You may or may not agree with all the ingredients that I put on it, but uh, we tried this last weekend. I enjoyed it, Jason enjoyed it, so I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So here's the two cuts of meat that I'm choosing for this video. And then over here are all the ingredients that we have. Uh, we have some syrup, grape jelly, uh, diet Dr. Pepper, I have some Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, salt and pepper, some smokehouse maple, uh, brown sugar bourbon, a little bit of garlic, and then to top it off, we got Grandpa's old cough medicine, a little bit of whiskey. So now we're ready to start cutting. Um, I cut one earlier just to kind of give myself an idea of how big I want the pieces. Um, it's not too thick right here, but it'll cook really nice. So I'm gonna try to get a lot of them this size. It all just really depends on if you like the beef jerky really thin or if you like it kind of thicker. Um, I'm gonna try to cut some really thin here because that's the way I like them. Uh, just thin, crunchy. Uh, Jason likes them a little bit thicker, uh, a little chewier. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both just so we could both have plenty uh, to, to eat throughout the week. So um, I'll cut his up right here. His are a little bit thicker as you can see. Um, I cut up about a handful so far. Uh, I'm gonna start cutting up some for me now, the thinner slices, so let's see how this goes. inside the bowl. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of uh, syrup. I don't like to measure anything. I just kind of just go with it. I want it to have like a sweet flavor. So I'm going to add some uh, grape jelly, probably a big spoonful or so. Along with that syrup, it should give it a nice sweet flavor. And then next, a little bit of the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. I'd say just a nice glob or two. Add in about a shot of Dr. Pepper. And last but not least, Grandpa's old cough medicine. Just add a little splash to it. Give it a quick stir. I'd say put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so, let everything melt together. And then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I just spent 30 seconds in the microwave. Just give it a nice stir. It's kind of got a, kind of a watery look to it. That's kind of what I was wanting. Now we're gonna add all the nail guy inside of a one gallon plastic bag. just like so. Mix it in there a little bit. Seal it up really nice and good and let this marinate. Now that I let the nail guy marinate for a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and add in all the dry ingredients. I'm gonna start with a little bit of garlic. Probably do about two pinches. Here comes the uh, brown sugar bourbon. 
be kind of generous with this. Next is the smokehouse maple. Same thing, be a little generous. Some salt. We'll go back and add a little salt once we put it on top of the dehydrator. And then now pepper. Same thing with the pepper, we'll go back over. Seal it up, give it a nice shake. Now we're ready for the dehydrator. We head over to the dehydrator. This dehydrator has been in our family for about 30 years. We grew up cooking jerky all the time with our parents. Uh, they let us have it once we went down there for uh, Thanksgiving this last year. So uh, let's load it up and see what we can come up with. It gets kind of messy, but you just kind of have to go with it. Now it's time for the dehydrator to do its job. We'll check back in the morning. Good morning, everyone. So the Nell Guy jerky has been dehydrating overnight. I'd say it's probably been in there maybe 10, 11 hours. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's see how it came out. Looks pretty good to me. Like I said, uh, I kind of like them a little bit crunchy. Uh, Jason actually said he likes his crunchy also, uh, but I mean, there's always some parts that are gonna be a little bit chewy, but overall it looks like it came out pretty well.